everyone! Today we're going to be making this cute little amigurumi. It has um, eyes and a mouth to make it extra cute. And uh, it's this is not typically what I make in design, but my little cousins uh, who are adult aged, by the way, um, requested these and I thought I would make them and share the tutorial too in case anyone's interested. So um, feel free to join me in this video tutorial to learn how to make this quick and easy project. And you can also make it extra cute and customize it by adding little um, bow ties or buttons or using different yarn colors, whatever you'd like. All right, hope you'll enjoy this project. Let's go over the materials you need for this project. I have here some medium weight yarn in the skin tone and also pink. Feel free to use whichever color you'd like. I'm using a 3.25 millimeter hook to go with my yarn here. I'm also going to use fiber fill stuffing, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and um, six millimeter plastic safety eyes. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start off with the balls first. You're going to make the first ball fasten off, then make the second ball with the same instructions, but do not fasten off for the second ball. Now, um, you're gonna start off with some skin colored yarn. I'm just using peach here. Um, you can use any color you wish. We're gonna do a magic ring, and round one is to insert six single crochets into the magic ring. So here in my ring, I'm going to insert one, two, three, four, five, and six. After that, you're going to pull your ring tight. And we're gonna continue on working in a spiral here you are going to insert your hook into that first single crochet. And in this round, we're going to increase in every stitch around. So that's gonna be six increases for a total of 12 um, stitches at the end. So here, I'm gonna put in two single crochets in the same stitch for one increase. In the next stitch, I'm also going to put in two single crochets now I'm on the third stitch and I'm gonna put in two single crochets. Fourth stitch, two single crochets. Fifth, two single crochets. And the last stitch, sixth stitch, I'll insert two single crochets. All right, so there you have it. That's round two. Moving on to round three, we're going to do a single crochet and increase all the way around. So that's what, here's what it'll look like. You're gonna first do a single crochet and then in the next stitch, do an increase. We're gonna repeat that six times. So that was the first set. Let's do it again. So single crochet and in the next stitch, increase. Single crochet and then increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, and single crochet and increase. Now um, at the end here, you're going to go ahead and um, that's the end of round three for rounds four to six actually. All you're gonna do is single crochet around. So put one single crochet in each stitch. Here's what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a yarn end kind of as a stitch marker to keep track of where I'm going. I stick it to the very front here before I start round three. I'll do a single crochet here so you can see my yarn tail is just marking the start of round three. Now you're welcome to use an actual stitch marker if you want, 
Um, I just kind of do this because it's easy and uh, free, obviously. You don't have to buy stitch markers, even though I have to admit there are a lot of really cute stitch markers out there. So um, do check those out if you want a formal, legit kind of stitch marker. Anyways, I'm just going to single crochet around this entire round. I'm just putting one single crochet in each stitch. And once you reach the end here, for instance, you'll see that I come back to my starting tail. That's where I marked the first stitch. So I just finished round three. Round four, oops, I'm so sorry. I just finished round four. Round five is gonna be just the same. You're just gonna single crochet around one in each stitch. And same with round six. So we'll be back when uh, we finish round six here. All right, so here I am having finished round six. Um, I'm able to see that by counting the rounds I have so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm going to do round seven, which is the last round for the ball. You're going to do a single crochet and decrease all the way around. And that'll give you a total of 12 stitches. So here's what it'll look like. Single crochet and then decrease by crocheting the next two stitches together, like so. Single crochet and then decrease. Single crochet, decrease. Single crochet, decrease. Single crochet, decrease. and single crochet in my last decrease. There we go. So that's that for um, the ball. Now I can go ahead and take that yarn end and pull it through so it's not um, hanging out for no reason here. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull it through here. All right. Look how cute this little ball is. Okay, so after you make the um, first ball, what you're going to do is actually snip it off. You can just fasten off with um, a bit of a yarn tail so it doesn't come loose. And then for the second ball, I want you to keep your yarn on because we're going to go ahead and keep crocheting and join them together. So with yarn still attached to your second ball, go ahead and join it with a single crochet to a stitch in the first ball. So I'm just picking one over here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the yarn through and single crochet. There. That's going to be my first stitch of the round. Now, since there are 12 stitches on the top, we're going to go ahead and single crochet 11 more to go all the way around. So that be, we did our first stitch, this is the second, and then number three, four, oops. Here's four, five, six. You're just going around the ball. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. and 12. After you do 12 stitches around the ball, you're going to go ahead and crochet into the um, second ball that you made. So let me find where I want the stitch to go here. I think uh, we're gonna go in, let me make sure. We wanna make sure we get 12 stitches on the next one too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
10, 11, 12. Okay, yep, that's correct. So as you can see, I am inserting my hook into the second ball. I'm not going into this first one because that's actually connected to the, um, the last stitch. So I have to go into an open empty stitch here. There we go. And I'm going to single crochet around the second ball, 12 stitches. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, oops, that was five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, there we go. Um, as you can see, that was the joining round. So what happened there was you joined the two balls together. Yay. All right. Now we get to continue on with the body of the pattern. So we're just gonna keep working around and around and go up. So for the body, what we're gonna do first is, um, let me see here. We're gonna do four single crochets and then a decrease four times. So let's go into the first stitch here. One. Two, three, four, and decrease. Repeat that. One, two, three, four, and decrease. Now we're moving on to the next ball here. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and decrease. And last repetition of this round. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to decrease here. All right, there we go. So that was um, the decreases that I did for round number one of the body. Um, for this next section, I kind of restarted the round count here. So if you please follow along with my written pattern for this too. Um, be easier to kind of work with. After you do that, we're going to do rounds two to nine of the body, simply doing single crochets around. So we're not increasing, we're not changing anything, we're just going to single crochet around. Let me go ahead and pull up the yarn tail that I was borrowing earlier as a stitch marker. So I'm gonna lay it here in the front and I'm going to use that to figure out um, where my round starts and ends. So let's go ahead and do rounds two all the way up to nine. So in that first stitch here, I'm just going to single crochet and single crochet around. All right, so we're meeting back here. We're done with round nine. As you can see, this is round two where I started my um, stitch marker, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now 
when you're done with this section, uh, we'll actually be switching colors in a bit. But before we do that, I think it would be easier if we go ahead and stuff it before um, it gets too far up. So go grab some stuffing and we're gonna go ahead and um, stick it, <laughs> sorry, down the shaft and then right into the balls. All right, I'm sorry, you know, I should be way more mature than this, but frankly, I'm not, so. There you go, a taste of my immaturity. Oops. Oh yeah, and if you use your um, yarn as a stitch marker, you're gonna wanna pull it back in at this point there, because you don't want it to be randomly poking out. Or maybe you do, I don't know. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my fingers to go in here. Make sure the balls are well stuffed. You don't want them to be, uh, you know, deflated and stuff. That's not good. All right, look at that. Pretty well stuffed, huh? Okay, and you'll also notice that there might be a little bit of a gap here. You see where the stuffing shows? What you can do to fix that is just to get a yarn needle in some of that um, yarn to just stitch it up so it doesn't um, poke too much, but um, shouldn't come out. All right, and now um, you can also add eyes to your um, little amigurumi here if you want to make it extra cute, which I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put eyes in let me put eyes on this side. I want this to be the front now because if I'm changing colors in the back, this part will be slightly uneven. So I'm just going to pick the front of the face as the other side. We are going to insert six millimeter eyes about um, between round seven and eight. And I did it four stitches apart. So let's see, here's round nine eight and seven, so it's gonna be between seven and eight here. And I'm gonna do it four stitches apart, so if I put my first eye here and do one, two, three, four, it's gonna be, oops, gonna be here. Okay, that seems about right. So I just wanna make sure the eyes are even and centered. So that's one, two, three, and four, okay. All right. And once you're satisfied with the placement of the eyes, go ahead and um, fasten it by adding the backings. There we go, cute amigurumi eyes on our little amigurumi now. Okay, let's keep going. So, um, starting from the back here, we're now going to insert our hook into the front loop because for this next round, we're going to work on the head of our amigurumi here and we're going to work in the front loops only for this, um, for this round. So let's go ahead and get pink yarn. This is the first round of the head and I'm going to single crochet through the front loops, okay? You're going to single crochet four and then increase four times. So that was one. Work in front loops only here. By the way, I, sh I think I should make it clear. You know, when you crochet, you're going through both loops. Usually, that's you'll see the little V shape um, of the stitch. If I say to work in the back loops, you'll work in this loop that's further away from you. And the front loop is going to be this loop closer to you in the front. So we're working on the front loops right now. I'm gonna insert my hook into this front loop and make my single crochet, like so. So that's two single crochets so far. Here's number three and here's number four. And then I'm going to increase in this next stitch. So I'm going to put two single crochets in the same stitch. And then I'll repeat that 
repetition. One. Oops. Two. Three. Four. And an increase. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four, and then an increase. And last repetition. One, two, three, four, and an increase. All right, that finishes the first round of the head. I'm also going to fasten off the peach yarn now because you no longer need that. And for the second round of the head, all you're going to do is single crochet around. So here, I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook into the first stitch. And now, instead of working in front loops only, you're going to go back to working in both loops as usual. So I'm just going to insert my hook and single crochet around. After you single crochet around for round two, for round three, you're going to go ahead and decrease. This time you're going to do six single crochets and decrease three times. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and a decrease. Repeat that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then a decrease, and you're going to repeat that for the last repetition here. That gives you 21 total stitches here, and that concludes round three. If you'd like to as well, you can also add a smile to your amigurumi. I'm using just some scraps of black yarn here and a yarn needle. I'm going to go ahead and sew it in here. So I'll just uh, kind of find where I want the smile to start. And where I want it to end. And then I find the midpoint here. So as you can see, I'm finding the other end of the smile. And here's a midpoint where I could make the curve. So once I pull through, it comes out to be a tiny curved smile like so. And I'm going to insert my hook into the same stitch as the bottom uh, point of the mouth. When I do that, that keeps the um, curve secure. All right, so there's my little amigurumi smile. I'm just going to go ahead and tie the yarn ends and then we can continue crocheting. All right, um, as we work along these last few um, rounds, you'll also want to make sure you're stuffing your amigurumi well so that um, we're not closing it off without stuffing the inside. So I'm just going to stuff the amigurumi a bit right now, and we'll continue stuffing as we work along. All right, so here we are. Um, we're moving on to round number um, four now. For round four, you're going to single crochet five and then decrease three times around. So that's going to be five single crochets. That's one, two, three, 
four and five. And then a decrease right here. And then five more single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then a decrease. And then last repetition here. One, two, three, four, and five single crochets. And then a last decrease. Now we're gonna go to round number five. Round number five is going to be a single crochet and a decrease all the way around. So let's go ahead and start that. Single crochet, decrease. And you're gonna do that six times, by the way, for a total of 12 stitches. So that's my first repetition. Here's my second repetition. Single crochet, decrease. Here's my third repetition. Single crochet, decrease. Fourth repetition, single crochet, decrease. Fifth repetition, single crochet, decrease. And last sixth repetition, single crochet and decrease. And now um, we're going to stuff in some more before our last round. Last round is just going to be a decrease around for um, six stitches total. So I want to make sure that my um, amigurumi is stuffed without, um, excuse me, stuffed while the hole is still large enough for me to kind of insert my finger into. And let's go ahead and, um, I think this is pretty full. We don't want to overstuff either. <laughs> all right, now last round, we're going to do decreases all the way around. So that'll be six decreases. One, two, three, Four, five, and six. Yay, okay, that was the last decrease. So as you can see here, the top is, uh, now the hole is really small, so it's hard to stuff. You're gonna go ahead and fasten off with a bit of a tail. We're gonna sew the um, hole shut. So I'm just pulling this yarn end out now. And I'm gonna go ahead and thread it through a yarn needle. And let's go ahead and stitch the top closed. And I'm gonna pull it through a um, stitch in the bottom here. Make sure it's um, well shaped. And now, as you can see with this yarn end hanging out, I'm gonna wanna trim it so it's not um, visible anymore. Gonna, if it's still there, you can kind of pull on your piece to help that yarn tail disappear inside. All right, and that's that for the little amigurumi and i'm sorry i should be mature enough to say what this is on video but i'm not i'm just gonna start laughing so here you go all right hope you enjoyed this project you can make them a lot more friends happy crocheting bye now